Hello, this is Daniel Watress, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the configuration of some of the general settings for the WordPress opt-in crusher. Uh, by this point you should have it installed. So from your dashboard after you log into your WordPress website, uh, scroll down until you see this settings option here and click the little arrow button to show the, the menu and then click on WP opt-in crusher. Uh, this will show you the settings page and the first two general settings that we want to talk about are whether you want it enabled for the iPhone and whether you want it to show for logged in users. And the answer is entirely up to you, but I personally disable it for iPhones at this point. When I have full integration for iPhones, I'll add the little iPhone icon right here. Uh, but as of right now, it works great in all of these browsers. Uh, but on iPhone, there's, uh, it's such a limited amount of real estate, the, the amount of screen space that you have to display a web page, uh, it's just not effective. You can't, you can't display the amount of information or a light box or, or, or any of those elements. So I personally disable it for iPhone users. Um, and then show when logged in, there are, two reasons, there are two things you want to keep in mind when you're deciding whether or not you show it for logged in users. The first, and let me just scroll down here, um, in the Aweber settings, there is a, a statistics tracking URL field. And this is how Aweber keeps track of how many times it shows your opt-in box to, uh, as, uh, as a ratio to how many people actually sign up. And this gives you an idea of how good your call to action is and um, you know, how, how compelling that is. So if you, if you put that in there, you're using Aweber statistics, which I recommend you do, then if you have this enabled to yes, every single time you load a page on your own blog, the footer is going to show, and that means you're going to be throwing off your statistics. So my recommendation is you keep this at no, so that you keep your statistics uh, right. The other, uh, or, or keep your statistics accurate. The other reason I suggest you keep this on no, and uh, I use this uh, opt-in footer plugin on my own membership websites. And what happens is as, as your members log in, obviously if they're logged in and they're viewing the content on your membership website, they already have paid you or opted in. I mean, they've, they've completed some action to gain access to your membership website. And so th there's really not much need showing them an opt-in uh, form for, for your website. So I would suggest you keep that at no, and there are times that you want this at yes, and those times are, for example, when you're configuring your, your plugin. So uh, for the meantime, let's set that at no. And the, the last setting you'll find down at the bottom, and this is the attribution link. Now, when you first install the, or the plugin, this defaults to yes, and let me just show you what it does. If you go to your website, Build an opt-in email list in WordPress. It's this uh, small link that it places at the footer of your site, and it's a link back to the page where somebody could get the, the plugin for their own site. So it, I believe in leaving it up to the site owner what links go on their site or not. And so you can simply set this to no if you don't want to show that link. And if you do disable this, please consider uh, sending out a tweet or posting on Facebook or even writing a, a review on your, your blog uh, and give me a link back. Uh, again, it's not, not compulsory. Uh, it's, it's completely up to you. Uh, but this is where you would set that. And if you set it to no, uh, you know, click update. Uh, every time you update your settings, you'll see the save settings. And the next time you come back to your site, you'll see uh, down at the bottom, the link is gone. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, that, 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 that's it for this video. I hope it's useful to you. And in the next video, we'll talk about animation settings. Thanks.